At five weeks, it's the size of a pea. At 20 weeks, its mother knows when it sleeps and when it wakes. At nine months, it's ready for the most dangerous journey of its life. From a simple cell to a human being, follow a baby's voyage into life. Next on Body Atlas. Behold the start of a new life, a fertilized human egg, hardly big enough to see. Over the next nine months, it will divide and grow millions of times. Changing dramatically in size and shape, within the mother's womb, it gradually takes on a human form. The single egg has become a complex organism of some two trillion cells. A baby that can now live in the world outside the womb. Twelve hours ago, Valerie and her husband conceived a new life. A brother or sister for their young daughter, Lauren. Living creatures of all kinds need two parents. From their genes, offspring inherit an enormous range of looks and personality traits. A first child gives parents little idea of how their later children will turn out. Like humans, all mammals spend their formative months safe in their mother's womb. A woman puts all her eggs in two baskets, her ovaries. The mature egg is the largest single cell in the human body and the only one visible to the eye. One day each month an egg leaves the ovary and drifts into the fallopian tube. If sperm manages to reach the egg, a new life can begin. Hundreds of sperm from Valerie's husband swarm around the egg, but only one will be successful. Its precious cargo is the genetic information carried in DNA. It will mix with the mother's genes to form a new individual with a unique genetic makeup. These chemical instructions provide a vital blueprint, ensuring that every tissue and organ in the body forms in the right place at the right time. That's the starter. DNA contains all the information needed to make everything from eyes, noses and ears to kidneys and lungs. Four weeks have passed since the egg in Valerie's womb was fertilized. Although she suspects she may be pregnant, she is uncertain. No signs have appeared. Yet, in the past month, many critical events have happened within her. A day and a half after fertilization, the egg divides into two cells. During the week it takes to travel down the fallopian tube, these cells divide again and again. The process begins slowly and then speeds up. As the cells divide, they become smaller. But incredibly, the evolving cluster grows no bigger than the original egg. Finally, the cells drift into the womb. Its spongy lining has thickened 
to make ready for the cells to burrow in. Taking nourishment from Valerie's body, her new child now begins to grow. Only certain genes in each cell switch on. A flood of chemical messages are released, instructing the cell to become part of an eye or the heart or an arm or leg. From this simple beginning of division and multiplication, these identical cells begin to change. Some cells within the cluster start to take shape. In less than a month, the fertilized egg has become an embryo. One end is the head and the other the tail. A swelling along the back will form the brain, spinal cord and skin. Other cells will become the digestive organs, skeleton and muscle. Buds begin to grow, which will gradually turn into legs, arms, the liver and heart. As early as the third week, a tiny heart begins to beat and blood begins to flow. The heart consists of two simple tubes. A final four-chambered heart will not appear for another few weeks. Still, the primitive heart must practice working as a pump as soon as possible. After a month, the developing child not only has a functioning heart, it also has the beginnings of a brain, eyes, spinal cord, lungs, stomach, kidneys and intestines. Valerie's period is now two weeks late and she's feeling sick in the morning. It's time to check out her suspicions. Her urine carries the message. The tiny embryo has drastically shifted the chemical balance within her body. A flood of new hormones brings on her sickness. The excess hormones flushed out in urine are detected by the pregnancy test and it's positive. Now five weeks old and the size of a pea, Valerie's child is attached to its membranes by the beginnings of the umbilical cord. A jaw appears and the brain is developing fast. A few days later, the baby's head is now one-third of the body's total volume. The dark patch will become the retina of the eye. The eyes are wide open, as yet there are no eyelids to cover them. Its heart beats strongly now. The hands look like paddles. They are supported by cartilage, but soon bones will begin to form. At six weeks, fingers and toes are still webbed, but they're growing fast. The mother has now missed her second period. Also visible is a mouth with lips, the beginnings of a tongue, and buds for 20 milk teeth. At only seven weeks, an ultrasound scan reveals the baby's first movements. But its mother can't feel anything because the embryo is so small. It weighs only one-thirtieth of an ounce. Yet the features of a unique new face are beginning to emerge. Limbs are longer now, and fingertips are swollen where touch pads are forming. The pose is characteristic of a seven-week-old embryo. By the end of the eighth week, the embryo at last looks like a human being. Little more than an inch long, it begins to build the first real bones and becomes a fetus. <laughs>